can prove that after infinitely many steps, you'll reach your destination. Such infinite sums are called infinite series. And Madhava was doing a lot of research into the connections between these series and trigonometry. First, he realized that he could use the same principle of adding up infinitely many fractions to capture one of the most important numbers in mathematics, pi. Pi is the ratio of the circle's circumference to its diameter. It's a number that appears in all sorts of mathematics, but is especially useful for engineers, because any measurements involving curves soon require pi. So for centuries, mathematicians searched for a precise value for pi. It was in 6th century India that the mathematician Arabayata gave a very accurate approximation for pi, namely 3.1416. He went on to use this to make a measurement of the circumference of the Earth, and he got it as 24,835 miles which amazingly is only 70 miles away from its true value. But it was in Kerala in the 15th century that Madhava realised he could use infinity to get an exact formula for pi. By successively adding and subtracting different fractions, Madhava could hone in on an exact formula for pi. First, he moved four steps up the number line. That took him way past pi. So next, he took four thirds of a step, or one and one third steps, back. Now he'd come too far the other way. So he headed forward four fifths of a step. Each time, he alternated between four divided by the next odd number. Four sevenths, four ninths, four elevenths, and so on. He zigzagged up and down the number line, getting closer and closer to pi. He discovered that if you went through all the odd numbers, infinitely many of them, you would hit pi exactly. I was taught at university that this formula for pi was discovered by the 17th century German mathematician Leibniz. But amazingly, it was actually discovered here in Kerala, two centuries earlier by Madhava. He went on to use the same sort of mathematics to get infinite series expressions for the sine formula in trigonometry. And the wonderful thing is that you can use these formulas now to calculate the sine of any angle to any degree of accuracy.